some time, uh, we'd ask that you sign sign up, please. Uh, first thing on the agenda, we'll open the public hearing for the liquor license application for H&H &H Catering DBA Peggy's package. Is there anyone here to speak? If you'd want to step up to the microphone, I didn't mention that either. If you do speak tonight, we do require that you step up to the podium. Uh, we do report the uh, <coughs> proceedings, and uh, we need to hear you. So, we are applying for a liquor license. We have bought Sevy's drive-in, and we would like to operate on a liquor license and be a new business in town. Questions from the council, <coughs> or is there anyone else here that? <coughs> Make a motion to approve it. Okay, we'll close the hearing first. We have a motion. Do we have a second? We have a motion and a second to approve the application for H and H catering DBA Higgy's package for liquor license. Any further discussion? If not we'll have roll call. Yes. 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 Thank you. In your packets you have copies of two sales tax requests. I think Caleb is here to go to the road with us. Name folks. In your packet you should have two sale two uh, sales tax requests, fund requests for two separate projects, <coughs> as well as a itemized breakdown of the current sales tax uh, program for economic development fund. Uh, limit that we have right now, or I would say essentially at the bank, what we have in the bank right now. The first project request on behalf of the Economic Development Board is on behalf of the Tourism Advisory Board to underwrite the costs, if needed, for a 2011 tourism uh, campaign with Garfield County. Our escape campaign, if you recall, the publication that we've produced over the last six years five years, this will be the six years, sixth year in 2011 of the publication. Um, and essentially how that's been paid for in the past is by ad advertising dollars that are sold throughout the publication. One of our concerns that we have had because of the current economic condition is essentially the cost of the publication if we can't sell ads for the entire thing. So what we're proposing tonight to you is to set aside $10,000 if needed for 2011's campaign and uh, underwrite some of the adver advertising costs for the campaign, again, if needed. Do you guys have any questions on that? Total cost is 10000 A total cost for the project would be more than that, but what we will be doing is splitting that cost with Garfield County 50-50 um, to 
traditionally, in the last five years, we've had ads that have covered those costs. But again, we want to be mindful of current economic condition and not get ourselves into a spot if uh, we do get there. It's been a very successful tourism campaign over the five years. We've won awards for it. <coughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to working on that, working on that this summer with uh, Garfield County. Basically a safety net. That's exactly right. Again, we, there may be a strong likelihood we may not need it. There may be a likelihood we will. It just depends on how many ads are sold. Do you look at any other funding sources? Uh, we have looked at other funding sources, and uh, we're, we're denied tourism, uh, a tourism advertising grant from the Department of Economic Development earlier this year. And right now, with where things have been in terms of both revenues as well as uh, Current, uh, I would say the current bankroll from the uh, from the lodging tax fund is just not sufficient for us to cover those those funds. That's why we've asked for a set aside. It, there is precedent for another campaign that I think was initiated three or some three or four years ago that tourism TV, which we're actually getting that product this summer, which is <coughs> finally nice to have that. So. I'll make a motion to approve both recommendations by the Economic Development Board. I'll second. I have a motion and a second to approve both uh, recommendations from the Valley County Economic Development Board as presented. Any dis further discussion? Not well. Roll call. Yes. Yes. Hetzke? Yes. Stunkel? Yes. Carson? I abstain. Wasn't there. Oh. Yes. Anything else? That is. Okay, engineering proposals for the new neighborhoods project. Um, I think Paul got those. Do you want to visit about any of the any of that? I know. I know both firms are here. I'll fill you in a little bit. Uh, you know, as part of that preliminary study on uh, the Ord Housing, or not Ord Housing, but the uh, new neighborhoods project out there, we were required to do a preliminary engineering study, and uh, that was covered by that $25,000 grant money that uh, uh, both the environmental study and uh, the preliminary engineering. At the same time, I thought that uh, whoever was uh, proposing the preliminary engineering that they should be considered for the, the, all the engineering of utilities out there. You know, so at the same time I asked for bids on the preliminary study, uh, you know, which is pretty well set by guidelines of the grant money, but we also took uh, uh, bids or estimates, I, I would call them estimates, I don't think they're in stone, uh, you know, on any of them, but uh, we asked for uh, uh, both JEO and Olson to uh, come because uh, the uh, new neighborhoods group had picked those two engineering firms out as, as basically dead even, you know, when we were evaluating evaluating them to uh, do the project. So, so right now, uh, I think they're both here represented, uh, Mike Schultes and uh, with uh, JEO and, and uh, Jess Holbert with Olson, and, and I'm not familiar with the other ones. And, and I would prefer if they would just come up and talk to the council about their proposals so we, we know what they're talking about. That, is that about what you're... Okay. Um, toss a coin. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Mike? Sure. Well, good evening. It's always nice to be back in Oregon. It's always a uh, good feeling to drive in and, and look at the downtown. It looks uh, very nice. Um, just wanted to, uh, you know, we kind of assume you all have this uh, in front of you, the, the proposal. Um, we kind of just put that together as kind of a, a line item um, of the items we visited with, um, with Paul and, and Rick for uh, the proposed subdivision and um, it's 
it's kind of uh, there are certain things that you, know, you may or may not want, such as you know geotech investment.